in 1941, the 32nd President of the United States of America, President Franklin Roosevelt, became the first to dedicate a presidential library in America. Here in Nigeria, and 12 years after, he first conceived the idea of leaving behind the records of the past for future generations. Former President Lushego Basanjo becomes the first African leader to open a presidential library on the continent. The event also coincides with his 80th birthday celebration. Dignitaries from within and outside Nigeria converge on Abiokuta, the Ogun state capital, and the cradle of Western education in Nigeria. First, a quick tour of the static exhibition section of the library by guests, led by the host, former President Obasanjo, and Nigeria's acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibadro. Historical items here include relics, artifacts, personal effects, and items that form part of General Bassendor's lifetime from early life and education to career in the army, life after the army, and as a civilian leader. Inside the hall, a true picture of the roll call leaves no one in doubt about the personality of Chief Obasanjo. I congratulate the chief promoter of this presidential library. The almost endless list includes serving and former world and African leaders, royal fathers and members of the business community. They include former President Goodluck Jonathan and his vice Namadi Sambo, General Abdul Shalami Abubakar and Chief Ernest Shoneko. Former Nigerian envoy to the United Kingdom, Dr. Christopher Kolade. Former Ghanaian leader, Mr. John Kufour. Former United Nations Secretary General, Mr. Kofi Annan. Former Commonwealth Wealth scribe Chief Emeka Nyoku, Prince Markel of Kent, businessman Aliko Dangote, as well as serving and former state governors. For sure, how our dreams will come true and how our vision will be realized. The co chairman of the board of trustees of the Lushegon Basanjo Presidential Library Foundation, Dr. Kolade, is excited at the potential of the project, which boasts over 4,000 artifacts, about 2 million materials and books, and 15 million pages of documents. Through these items, we already have sufficient capacity to cater to the research needs of scholars and students from all over the world. And this week already, we have received cheering reports of the activities of the Center for Human Security, described by Chief of Basanjo himself as the brain box of the Presidential Library. The President of Liberia and Chairperson of the occasion, Mrs. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, is proud that this is happening in her lifetime. We take pride that this is our own history, your own history, your nation's history, made, recorded, presented, and graphically displayed by ourselves, by yourselves, through these structures for prosperity. History will bear truth to this precedent-setting presidential initiative in Africa that will spur a strong legacy for successful retiring presidents to emulate, to record and preserve the history of nation building for prosperity and for the benefit of today and future generations. For Nigeria's acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, Nigeria has a lot to learn, especially from its past mistakes. It is one sure way of preserving the lessons, the failures, and the successes of the past, just so that we can approach the future with more sure-footedness and less pain. History is the most compassionate teacher. President Olusha Mwabasanjo is therefore a gift to us all in various ways being so intricately tied to the history of Nigeria. And then former President Obasanjo tells the audience about his vision for the library. There must be enough facilities to serve the needs of the community 
and to impact positively on the community. In a way, it will be a community project from the services point of view. It must be active and dynamic, not just cold, static, inactive, but also instructive and inspiring. It must also be a center of knowledge, information, and learning. So we have a mission to preserve the past, capture the present, inspire the future, sustain our culture, and encourage tourism. The state governor, Senator Ebukunle Amosum, is also proud that this vision adds another feather to the state's cap. This library will definitely be of a huge advantage to a people that is always eager to learn and to advance human development. No doubt this presidential library, modeled after the American presidential library, will be a veritable source of intellectual material for the social political development of not only Nigeria, but Africa as a whole. Without my son word, our dear state of state is proud to host this legacy as a center for social, political and economic think tank and researches. The Olusegun Obasanjo Presidential Library currently boasts an archive section, a center for human security, and an institute for African collaboration and international understanding. Nigerians, Africa and the world over can only continue to benefit from the wealth of the resource contained in this edifice.